Can you define what it means to be a son of God or a daughter of God? Well, there's two ways in which we are a son or a daughter of God. The first way is that by creation we are a son or daughter of God. And what I mean by that is that every single person who has ever been created is created as a soul. And, uh, and, and in fact, we, we make up a half of a soul, each person that's ever appeared on this earth. And each half of a soul is, is joined to the other half of itself. And that particular soul is a son or daughter of God. And by nature of its own creation. But when I refer to myself as a son of God in the first century, I was not referring to that. I was referring to a process that a person goes through into which they become born again. And this born again process causes you to become uh, different to the natural human that you currently are. And it turns you in to, be, to a person who has now got God's divine nature within you. And when I say God's divine nature, I mean God's divine love has entered the person to the point where the person has exactly the same viewpoints of love as what God has. And that I called being born again. So in the first century, I was the only person on the planet at the time who was born again to the point that I described it. And, uh, and there has been no other person who has lived on this planet at this point in time who was or has been born again while on earth. However, there are many, many people in the spirit world who have passed from this earth, who have become born again and become a true child of God through this process of being born again. So we are all children of God. You are a daughter of God. I am a son of God. And uh, in the sense that we are all God's children, all God's creations. However, um, in terms of have we all ever been born again? Well, that is a process that each of us must choose to make if we so choose. We can become at one with God and in that way we'll be, be, be born again into a new relationship with God. And we could say at that point in time that we're truly a son of God in the sense that we have the same viewpoints of love as what God has. And each of us, every single person on this planet has the ability to become born again and at one with God. And so therefore, a son of God or a daughter of God in the true sense as well.